as old age when it comes. So the picture is Ugandans are saving more. Okay, Ugandans are, are learning that there is a more value in saving in financial assets. But I think also uh, it's important to appreciate the role of the central bank in managing inflation because if inflation is not managed, your savings get eroded. So that is the message that yes, there are alternative ways of saving other than just buying a land or building a, or building a house. And these, these, these methods of, of what? Of saving have been proven viable. So with a growth of 50%, we, we remain the leading unit trust provider in the country with over 70% of the savers. So what you saw is we have what we call an umbrella a fund, we have what we call a balanced fund, and what we call a money fund. Uh, I may not be able to explain those in a short time what they are, but we invest your money in those different funds. So what you are seeing, uh, what the reference to 193 billion was the profit on the umbrella fund. Uh, the forte was the profit on the money fund. So that is, those are the different types of funds in which your money gets invested. Okay, so you choose one of those. But I think also there was the dollar fund. It is only four months old, but it has been growing. Some people have the option now to save their money in dollars. Okay, it has only been there for four months and it made a profit of about $55,000. That's about 200 million shillings, but it is also growing. So we were presenting these results. And I think these results can also be found on our website. Um, basically, what we are looking at is there is more need, but this is more of the pension. You know, we are also a pension service provider. Um, a number of schemes are looking at, uh, the, the trustees are questioning around alternative investments. That is now the big topic, alternative investments. That yes, traditional investments have been there, we like the bond, but the problem about a return is that you don't see the actual development in the market. People want more. That they, have to see, they want their money to have a tangible effect. And that's the reason why the conversations which we are now having a lot with the regulation is how to structure alternative investment. So alternative simply means away from bonds, from bills. People want to see, can you generate solar? Is there affordable housing? And that's the reason why a number of conversations are around here. And that's why even as Old Mutual, we're actually having an investment conference in Johannesburg where we are also um, exposing trustees, not only of the schemes we handle, but also of other schemes to the alternative investment space. <laughs>